parents play a vital role when it comes to looking after their children's emotional health, including keeping stress to a healthy minimum. But to help a child who is overcome by worries, parents must first be able to recognize the different symptoms of stress in children. Children may not recognize their own stress and often lack the maturity to explain their real or imagined stressful issues. This can cause a variety of physical and behavioral signs to emerge. Every child is different, but these common symptoms and behaviors can be used as a litmus test when determining if the child is struggling with stress. Let us now look at some of the physical as well as the behavioral symptoms of stress in children. A quick disclaimer, the physical and the behavioral symptoms that we're going to talk about now can point to other issues besides stress, making consulting with your child's pediatrician absolutely vital for ruling out other possibilities. A sudden change in eating habits, whether eating less or more, is a sign of stress. Getting to the root of their stress, often with the help of their pediatrician or a child psychologist, can alleviate these behaviors. Frequent complaints of uh, stomach aches, upset stomach, headaches, or catching infections way too often can be signs of stress too. Children that are feeling insecure or have a lot on their minds may miss toileting cues. See the child's doctor to rule out other medical conditions that could cause bedwetting. When a child is under pressure, restlessness and worry interrupt sleep habits. This could lead to lack of sleep or difficulty in falling asleep. Nightmares are a common response to stressful or traumatic experiences. Nightmares can seem very real to children and they may have trouble returning to sleep after a nightmare. Some kids may also resist bedtime because they want to avoid bad dreams. Some children, when under stress, react with physical aggression like biting, kicking or hitting or verbal aggression like screaming or name calling. Stress can often lead kids having difficulty in concentrating. They also tend to have difficulty completing tasks that require patience. New or recurring fears are a common response to stress. Some examples are fear of the dark or being alone or strangers or even fear of the virus, etc. Withdrawing from other people, even best friends and close family members, can be a sign of stress and can lead to depression if prolonged over time. Habits can be comforting for children, but nervous habits such as biting fingernails or blinking very fast can be a way of soothing stress and anxiety. Stress can lead children to neglect some of the day-to-day -day responsibilities such as school homework or projects or even household chores. Refusal to go to school or, on the other hand, frequently getting into trouble at school can be signs of stress too. What are some of the other signs of stress that you've seen in children? Please leave a comment. Hope you found this video useful. In my next video, I'm going to talk about how parents and caregivers can help children cope with stress.